Today we are making the cutest fall cookies, but there's actually a fun surprise inside of these cookies. Yeah, we're making fall cookies with some falling leaves, guys. To get started making these fall inspired cookies with a fun surprise of falling leaves inside, we need obviously our cookie dough and I'm just gonna make some sugar cookies. I will link my sugar cookie recipe right here so you guys can get that if you guys wanna use that same recipe. All right, so here's my cookie dough. It's all ready to be rolled out except for one thing. We need to dye our cookie dough red, orange, and yellow. We are making fall leaves and we have to have those bright, vibrant colors today. I separated my cookie dough into three different bowls and I'm gonna dye them red, orange, and yellow. Now that our cookie dough is dyed, it's time to roll out this cookie dough and make these fun fall inspired leaves. So now all I'm gonna do is just gonna put flour down and now I'm gonna get the red, orange, and the yellow and just kind of push it all kind of in a ball right there. And then we're just gonna roll it out and it's just gonna be all fall colors, all mixed together like you see, you know, fall leaves falling. Now we're just gonna use my leaf cookie cutters. I just got these off Amazon for like $5. And we're just gonna cut out some leaves. To make the surprise inside of our cookie, we need three of the same leaf. So cut out three of the same leaf and however many leaves that you're doing, I have three different sets of leaves, and so I need three of each set of leaves because I'll show you guys in a minute why. So just start rolling out and cutting out your cookies. Now that we've rolled out these fall-inspired sugar cookies, the colors of them are so vibrant and so much fun. Now we have to use my tiny little cookie cutters. I just got these at a craft store, and they're just tiny little cookie cutters. They're leaves and a little acorn and a pumpkin. We're gonna use these tiny cookie cutters to cut out a little hole in our cookies here. So I'll show you guys how. I'm just gonna use the acorn right here and we are going to cut out the middle of this fun leaf cookie. Just pushing it right in. So now we have a hole in one of those cookies. Now we're gonna do that with the rest of our cookies here. So we're gonna have three cookies you can see on my pan and one of each is gonna have a hole cut out of the middle. Now we're gonna pop them in the oven. Now that our cookies are baked, they look so good and so fallish. And if you guys just wanna keep them like that and just have the cute fall looking cookies, go for it because they're so, so fun and I love them just on their own. But of course, I had to do a little extra today just for fun. So now we are gonna stack these cookies up so that we can get sprinkles inside of these leaves. Actually, we're putting leaves inside of these leaves because they're falling leaves. All right, so I'm just gonna have my three cookies you can see. One, two, three, with the one that has the hole in the middle cut out. And now I've got my royal icing. I just made a super easy recipe of royal icing if you guys want it. I will definitely do a video about it. Royal icing tends to stick together a lot better than buttercream and I needed these to stick together so that they'll, you know, stay together, obviously. We are just going to pipe right around the edges of this leaf. Just pipe around the edges. Then we'll pick up the leaf that has the hole in it and we're gonna set it right on top of the other cookie. Now we're gonna get our sprinkles and I just have some leaf sprinkles, a few little, you know, round, fun little sprinkles to go with it. We're just gonna fill in that little hole with some leaf sprinkles. Once we fill that in, now we are going to trace around the outside of this leaf. Then we're gonna get one more cookie and we're gonna set it right on top. And there you have it guys. We have a sprinkle filled falling leaf cookie. Just continue to do this process until you have as many fun sprinkle filled leaves as you want. Also, I just kind of did a little decoration on top. They're so cute, the colors, that I didn't really want to cover up all of them with, you know, frosting. So I just used my royal icing and I just piped a little leaves designs and put a few little sprinkles on and just added the little leaf sprinkles on the outside and voila, there you go guys. Falling leaf sprinkle filled. if you guys attempt these super cute leaf sugar cookies at home. They're definitely kind of my favorite and when you break into them and the sprinkles just go flying, I mean, how can you not love it? Thanks so much for watching here at Chili's Baked Cakes. Make sure and subscribe to my channel guys and have an awesome day.